Welcome back, everybody. Siena lost 24 games a year ago and fired its head coach, Mitch Bonaguro. At the same time, UAlbany was winning 24 games last season and went on to play against the Duke Blue Devils in the NCAA tournament. So, tonight's season opener for the Albany Cup would be a blowout in favor of the Great Danes, right? Well, not so fast. In his first game as Saints head coach, Jimmy Patsos had his youthful bunch ready to go. Patsos started three freshmen, Marquise Wright, LaVon Long, and Troy native Javion Ogunyemi. They all played a part as Siena opened up a 14-point first-half lead. Due credit to the freshman, but Rob Poole was the biggest reason for Siena's early success tonight. The junior finished with 15 points. However, Gary Johnson helped to wake up the great Danes. Albany was within six by halftime. Second half, the Aussie duo of Peter Hooley and Sam Rowley took over. They combined for 34 points. Albany surged ahead. Siena was not helped out by an 0-for-16 performance from distance in the second half. So, for the third time in four years, UAlbany wins the Crosstown game and thus the Cup. And when Will Brown finally got his hands around it, he nearly broke it. Yeah, it was great until I dropped the Albany Cup. Uh, I only dropped the top of it, so um, I guess i got to pay for a new top. But, uh, you know, it's good. I mean, uh, this game means so much for the local, uh, the alums, the, the community. It's great. We're giving it back to our alumni and our fans and our athletic department. So that's, uh, it's all for them, really. We had a chance. And we're young. You know, I said drive the ball, drive the ball, drive the ball, and then kick threes. All they heard was threes. They're young. They started firing threes. I think the second half, they had worked us. They came out. They came out strongly. We did. They rebounded us. It was tougher than us. I mean, first half, we played. We had tough them. Second half, they came out tough to us, and that was the difference between the game.